Good morning, folks. Dr. Freedom here with you. Yeah, um, just some more of the usual hoopla. Um, there's word going around that there's still a slot open, like on Sunday, for New York Comic Con. There's a lot of folks hopeful that that's going to be for the BBC America thing. But the problem is, we've. I think if it was Doctor Who, you'd think they'd want to advertise it a bit more than having it pop up at the last minute like a jack-in-the-box. But that's my opinion. You, know, you never know. It could happen. But... Um, remember recently I made a video about being, you know, gullible. Somebody, well, it was the person who tried to convince me they were the 14th doctor. Um, I banned them on Twitter. I banned them on Facebook. And then now apparently I'd forgot to ban them on YouTube because they left this, I don't know how many page long rant about how I was an a-hole. I was this and I was all that basically because I didn't fall for it. They, they found out the cold, hard truth. They didn't play one over on me. They, the old man is a bullshit detector, and they just couldn't handle it. And that's how I know I got y'all I pulled one over, because when you have to leave a rant that's how many paragraphs long that you could probably couldn't even fit into a decent newspaper article, that pretty much tells me what's going on. The point of the matter is this. I love how they took this as an attack video. And I'm like, attack video, I was just stating my opinion on the matter. I'm sorry. If you want, you know, sugar-coated bullshit, I'm, I'm not Willy Wonka. I'm not going to sit here and soothe your ego just, you know, for the hell of it. I'm just going to tell the truth. And that's exactly how I felt. Because if you want to take it as an attack, fine. But also, I was referring to multiple other occasions. Some of the folks who are on this channel know that back during 2013... I was getting all kinds of bogus claims about the 50th anniversary special for Doctor Who. And like I said, one of my favorite ones was a guy on Skype who contacted me using somebody else's um, ID. Well, it was somebody else's photo because I knew exactly who the photo came from. And then tried to claim they were this IT person. They were uh, working as an intern. No, there was an intern in the special effects department. And I'm like... If I remember right, the special effects department wasn't even in the BBC at the time. I think it was under its own company. And then started going off on these, you know, grand fantasies about how, you know, like my favorite one is I ran into Matt Smith, blah, blah, blah. Or Stephen Moffat stopped and talked with me today. And I'm like, you're an in, you're claiming to be an intern that works in the computer gra or the special effects department. Yet you're having these long, intimate conversations with Matt Smith and Stephen Moffat. And I'm like, if you're an intern in the you know, special effects department, you would be... And then he goes on about how he just saw... One of my favorite ones was definitely a play. And it was pretty much, you know, I knew for a fact that this guy's full of shit. Was when he went into about... I just saw Matt film his scene with uh, William Russell and Carol Ann Ford. It was very touching. And I'm like... If you're an intern in the computer graphics in the special effects department, why are you on set? And I'm like, so, but finally it just went on and on until finally I said, okay, how many pages are in the script then? Because then he went on this thing about how he had seen the whole script. And he gave me this really ridiculous number. There's no way you could have filmed it in 75 minutes, which we knew. Because they announced it was going to be 75 minutes long. And I knew that's when it was in trouble as far as I'm concerned. And he gave me this, and I said, fine, then, and I just clicked off and blocked him at that point. But I kept this guy going for at least a couple weeks. The point is, everybody just assumes that because, like, this doesn't happen often, but a lot of people assume that because I'm an American, I don't have access to information. It's like, when you're out in this community, you get to know people, it's a whole different world thanks to the internet. And sometimes people just contact you and say, look, I've heard this, I've heard this, and I've heard that. Some are not lying to you. Some are just trying to say, look, this is what I've heard. But then you got other ones who think, I'll feed this, you know, stupid, fat, bloated, white American some disinformation. And they'll buy it, and then I'll get a laugh when you broadcast it. And then guess what? It never gets broadcasted. Because in, in my heart of hearts, I am pretty much can tell what's truthful and what's not. Oh, well, I'm going to get going, folks. Enough of this ranting for me. But I think there's going to be a rants from the fandom video coming up soon. Because <laughs> this thing went on for light years. So take care, everyone. Good night. See you on the flip side.